guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 4 of Metallic Rouge. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, move the fuck out of the way, basically. I don't know about this. Of course, they lock her up, especially with what happened last week. Mm -hmm. Of course. So how is she getting out, though? Yeah, but you gotta get out. At least get some innocence. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, don't be such a, you know, bitch or a pushover. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Like what? But she didn't do anything.
Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, not telling. Wouldn't be that easy. Well, you know, can't answer anything else unless she has a lawyer present. So get her a lawyer and then she'll talk. Oh, damn, and you just gonna walk all over him? I think her stuff is here. Yeah. Hmm. There you go. Asshole. Not the first person on that. Where's Rouge though? Hmm. Yeah, do you think somebody like that would want to kill you guys? I mean, I get it, because I would be very, like, not... <laughs> I wouldn't be trusted him, especially after last week.
-hmm. Which is something that you want to know. You might as well. I still don't know about this dang circus. Mm -mm. Just still something doesn't feel right about this. Duh. <laughs> yeah, but how do you know that? Who are you really? Mm hmm. Then who did? By who? Oh, damn, not Sarah. There you go, get him again. Mm. Oh. 
I don't even know what the hell to say about this episode. <laughs> figured. No, oh, baby. To think that he would fucking use him and then just, damn. their allegiance as well. Yeah, but you could have possibly used it for good, but no, here we are.
tell me she walked all the way over here? Girl, what the hell? Uh-uh. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. Circus. Don't fucking trust it. No. But, uh, okay. Number one, I'm not surprised that the doctor was also one as well. It, you know, I mean, since we met him, he was very suspicious. But the fact is that he had someone else do his dirty work, aka Leon. I feel bad for him. And then again, he kills him. It is highly messed up because all he wanted was to be free. And to just be with him, but nah, of course. Bad people always take advantage of good people and such. And now they're both dead. They dead, and the police is over here killing everybody like it's not even anyone's business and such. What the heck about to happen now? And the fact is Naomi ran into, you know, homeboy, a.k.a., you know, everybody's been joking that he's bad to stop feed, but he's not. But he looks like him, kind of. Um... The fact that she ran into him, I was expecting their little, you know, kind of soft little match to be a little longer. Same thing with Rouge and the doctor. I mean, because it feels very, like, it goes by really freaking quick. Like, one minute we're here, and next minute we're done. Now, her getting injected with that stuff for her to, you know, hallucinate and such. And the guy who we saw last week, of course there's a connection between these two. But how do they know each other? Is she secretly one of those, like, one of the the six and stuff, or the nine that we that we talked about last week, or that we got introduced? So, once again, there still is a lot of more questions rather than answers. And so we're we're four weeks into this, and each episode very much feels episodic in a way. But I feel like once again, like once we do get to the end of this, we'll, we'll see the whole picture because once again, it still is not making the best of sense. This is something that probably I am going to have to watch again when it's fully completed, maybe in like a binge watch or something, but it is still good. But like I said, there is a lot more questions rather than answers on how this is going to go because we know, yes, she's collecting these orbs, these fears for something. He also has a couple as well. So is she doing it for him? And if she, if Rouge and Naomi are, then what does he want out of it? Is it like something where it's like, once again, you're gathering all the freaking Dragon Balls and such, you make a freaking wish, and they all go to new people again or something. There's some, He has an ulterior motive. We just don't know what the hell it is. Now, the circus situation, don't know what the heck that's going to come into play, but the girl with the pigtail, something tells me she's going to be turning into one of those um, robots in this next freaking episode, and Rouge is definitely going to have to go against her. But who freaking knows? There's, a, like, once again, a lot of unanswered questions rather than answers onto this. But, no, the episode was really good, especially, you know, with the tone of what, it's, what was going on and such. I didn't really like the fact that, you know, people... Okay. Well, I'll see you when you come back. I'll um, back. <laughs> as I was saying, I don't like the fact that, you know, these robot people were immediately in their home, and then one minute they're okay, and the next minute, boom, everyone's slowly but surely getting killed. But I get it. It's supposed to be like that, especially where we are and such. But, like, Jesus Christ. Damn. I don't even know what else to say about that. But, okay. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode four of Metallic Rouge. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode five. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.